Is it filming? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm gonna be doing some makeup. I'm a makeup artist. Self-taught, if you were wondering, which I don't think you were. This is so awkward, oh my god, this is my first time talking to a camera. Actually not a camera, even my phone. Let's just do some makeup, let's just dig in. So I have really, really dry skin, so that's why I like to moisturize my face and prime my face and then do my eyes so that all that primer and the, all that moisturizer will sink into my skin and then I do my face. This is the uh, Biomarine Aqua Detox. I've been using it for a while. I kind of like it. I do like it. You know what? Let's just give it credit. The day that I want to go to college, I just put this on and then some concealer and some mascara and I'll be good to go. I'm gonna use a little bit of Vaseline on my lips to make them juicy and also my brows. The skin under my brows get really like dry and nothing, nothing can make that dryness go away except for Vaseline. I'm not seeing myself so that's a little stressful but so as a primer today, I'm going to be using um, this poreless primer by Too Faced. I'm going to be using a little bit of this because it feels silicone-y. I've used the um, Porefessional. I can say that hands down, that is better than this one. Now we are going to be doing the Jackie Ina technique. So I'm going to be using my powder, which is the RCMA No Color Powder. Just a little bit here in this area. I know that that's for oily skin, but this primer in particular gets a little oily. So I'm gonna be just a little bit that I don't even see the powder. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing for my eyes is that I'm gonna use this concealer, which is Maybelline Atrovine, as uh, my eye primer. And then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. I'm gonna take my powder. This is the same powder that I use for my face, but I just pour it into this one so that it's easier to use. Um, and then set everything in place. I'm going to be using this palette today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance. I'm going to be using Burnt Orange on this brush right here, which is from BH. I don't know the number or the name because it has gone away. And I'm going to place this in my crease as my transitioning color. And suddenly I don't know English. Because today I'm gonna to be doing an like an like a halo effect eye, I'm gonna place um, this color also here into my inner corner. Not inner corner, but like tear ducts. What do you call this place? And then I'm gonna blend it upwards. I can bring this color as high as I want. But as the colors get darker, I'm gonna keep it closer to my lash line. Now I'm going to dig into the same palette and take Raw Sienna, which is a little bit darker. I'm going to tap off the excess, place it the same place that I placed uh, Burnt Orange, but a little bit tighter. Like, not as... Like, I'm not going to bring it high up, like, into my brow bone, just here in my crease. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of love letter, just a tiny bit. Just blend it into those colors so that it has a little bit of a reddish effect, which I love. But be careful because for this look, I do not want to pack any color. I'm just trying to blend every color in together as if all of them are my transition color because I want everything to be seamless and I don't want any lines. I want everything to be matte. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a burnt orange color and I'm going to blend a little bit more. And because this is a, like, it's going to be a halo eye, um, I'm going to leave this spot right here empty and clean and just ready for that halo. Now I'm going to dig into the same palette and I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber and I'm going to tap off the excess because we all know what a beast Cypress Umber is. Once again, I'm not trying to pack any color because if I wanted to pack a color, I would use a brush like this to try to pack it and then blend it with a brush that I'm using right now. 
um, but because I do not want to make any color the base of my eyeshadow, um, I'm trying to blend all the colors in together. So I'm not packing, I'm just using a brush like this, a little bit of eyeshadow, I'm just trying to blend it as close to my lash line as possible because I do not want to bring it like higher up. I have like really, really small eyes, so I do not want to make it worse. Then I'm gonna go back to this brush and just try to melt everything together. I actually learned this technique from Jaclyn Hill, which she always says to have a clean, clean bl blending brush with you. So I'm using this one and I'm just trying to blend everything together. We wanna get ready so that we can go nowhere, apparently. How are you guys doing with quarantine? Because I am doing pretty well, actually, because I'm not a outgoer a lot. So I'm reading books, I'm learning a new language, which is, which is French. Yeah, I'm studying, which I hate that part, but you know. Now I'm going to use this concealer right here, and I'm just going to do this. Tiny, tiny stroke. That's it. And then with my finger, I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Rude! Now I'm going to get into this palette, which is the Maybelline Nudes palette. It's a liner brush, and I'm going to take this black right here. I'm trying to make this color my lash line. That is the best way that I can put it. So I'm applying it as close to my lash line as possible. For mascara, I'm going to be using this Essence Isle of Extreme. Now with a makeup wipe, I'm just trying to wipe everything that's here. Okay, now we're going to get into my face. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using this Eve Rocher. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Zero Default Comfort Cream Foundation. Coverage-wise, it's not that high coverage. It's kind of like your skin but better. Like a little bit more coverage than that. Now I'm going to take my foundation brush, which is the Real Techniques 200. And it is a little bit more on the natural, glowy kind of... So it's not, it is not matte at all. And I'm gonna bring it down my neck as well because I do not want, you know, to have a line here. I like this brush. I did not, I, I didn't used to like, I didn't like it at all, but it kind of grew on me, you know? So this is the finish, I hope you can see. Now I'm gonna get into concealer, but before that I'm gonna use this red lipstick just a little bit, not too much, not too much. Just cancel out any kind of a uh, darkness that I have here because I want my under eyes to be like flawless at all times. Do you guys think I need a new concealer? If you do, comment down below. I'm gonna bring it a little bit here on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. And now we are gonna be blending. I should be like, is this better? I think it's better. Okay, so now that I'm blended to the gods, I'm gonna be using powder to set everything in place because I love powder and I don't want anything to move. And on my forehead, and here because these are the places that I get oily the most. And then I'm gonna use the excess powder to just Swirl it around, just like this. Now I'm gonna be doing my bronzer. Today I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. one. Are you seeing it? I'm not because I, like my eyes, they're not supporting. I'm gonna use this fluffy big brush. I'm just going to bronze me up. My double chin. Mine is actually like a triple chin if you will because boy I'm fat for contouring I'm gonna be using this Too Faced chocolate solo bronzer which I really love and I'm gonna use this fan brush I know that it might seem a little bit weird I'm gonna dip the fan brush like once and then I'm just going to make a line here see but we're gonna be blending it because we don't want no shit for our contour. Now, with a bigger brush, like this one, I'm going to be blending. 
Now I'm gonna take my powder and a sponge like this and I'm gonna dip it in there. <laughs> Tiny line. And then with the real techniques, 300 and nothing on it, I'm just going to blend it out. Again, cleaning up with powder. Okay, now I'm gonna take away the excess powder. For my under eyes, I feel like I do want a little bit of color, so that's why I'm digging into this palette from NYX, which is the Brights palette. It looks like this, and I'm gonna go into this color because it just it's just eyeing me. <laughs> but let's hope it turns out well. I'm actually taking a pencil brush. This is what it looks like. I should not have taken away that baked powder though. Now to finish up my eyes, I'm gonna get into this palette once again and uh, take Tempera, which is the brightest color in the palette, and I'm gonna apply it into my inner corner. It's matte, it's pretty. I wish I had fake lashes. I don't really do much to my brows, I just set them in place with soap. I'm just going to blush me up. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using Mary Luminizer, my favorite highlighter. This brush by Real Techniques 400T. This is the best um, highlighting brush ever. I hope you can see, I don't know, like I don't know what the lighting is doing, but can you see that? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend a little bit, not on my highlighter, but on the line that my highlighter and my blush have. Now I'm gonna take a tinier brush and I'm gonna use that for my nose. And just a little on the tip. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna get into lips. I'm gonna be using a lip liner, a nude lip liner. Um, I'm gonna be using a matte lipstick today, so before applying that, I'm gonna be using a little bit of Vaseline. So I'm gonna use this Deborah Velvet Matte Lipstick number one I think so what I'm doing now is that I realize that this lip does not go with this eye look so I'm using this a uh, Bayou color biggie 207 which is a like bright pink and I'm just applying it in the center of my lips this is better this is better I kind of like it let me see my overall. I kind of like it, you know what? Okay, so this is the finished look. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you like the look. I really like it. It's really effortless. It does not have any liner or anything that anybody cannot do. It's really easy. Um, and yeah. If you like the video, please, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends if you want because that will really help me out and subscribe to my channel. I'm really new, so um, this is actually my first video, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and love you. Oh no, that's, that's so cheesy. <laughs>